Hello everybody. This is a white, yellow, and orange belt class. It is Monday, August 17th. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you didn't miss me too much while I was on vacation. I can tell you, we didn't miss you. I didn't miss you. Yeah, but yeah, you didn't miss me. Huh? <laughs> anyway, but now we're back. And um, well, at least we're partially back or we're back physically, but I think my head's still at vacation and on the beach because I have no uniform today. Anyway, good thing I was prepared to go to the gym right after this. Um, so I have my workout gear, but uh, I'll be heading back home to grab a uniform before tonight's classes. Anyway, before we get started today, please make sure you guys do your warm-ups. Do them completely. Don't skim through them. Go to the app, click on curriculum, click on Lima online, and your warm-ups are right there. Your warm-ups should take the better part of 10 minutes to get properly stretched out, do some push-ups, do some crunches to get the blood flowing because we don't want to have injuries. All right, guys, so today, this week, our theme is, is a sparring-type theme. We're doing sparring-type drills. Even though we can't have contact with a, with a partner here at class, we have equipment that we can train on at the school. Um, they do have partners at home that you can work these drills on. So we're going to be doing a sparring-type class. Now, first thing you need to know about sparring. Sparring, we're not doing this like fight club at Leading Edge. Even when we do get back to contact, it's not fight club. Everything is in control here. We're here to work with each other, train with each other, not practice on each other. So... We're gonna do some partner training today. Um, so you'll need somebody to help you out at home with these drills. Or you can always utilize a bag for any of these drills. So first things first, my partner's hands are gonna be my target, or I can use a bag. Notice where Joe Shoe is. He has his hands slightly out in front of him, just like this. And they're in front of his shoulders. They're not even with his shoulders like this, because I can't reach them. They wanna be out front. So I'm gonna be standing right about here. My front hand, you'll notice, is in front of my front shoulder. I don't want my front hand behind my front shoulder. If you see in the video, you can't see my front hand right now. It's going to come out like a door hand, a door swinging. I want my hand in front so it can come out straight and linear. So we're going to warm ourselves up with some, just some combinations. We're going to do these for a minute straight, okay? So I'm just going to work at my own pace, front punch, back punch combination. I'm staring right at my partner's chest right here. So you at home, you're setting a timer to get these drills in. Setting a timer. Now my partner, he's going to be a very good partner. He's going to be a very aware partner, paying attention. He's watching to see if I'm dropping my hands as I punch. If I'm dropping those hands, I'm developing a very, very bad habit. You want to imagine that your hands have rubber bands from the back of your ears. We're all kind of used to that with our mask pulling on our ears anyway. So our hands come right back to our cheeks. That rubber band snaps our hand right back to your cheek when you punch. So again, I'm doing a minute straight of one twos on this side. I'm staring right at his chest. Okay, one minute straight, pause for 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna do the other side. And so forth. One minute on both sides, 30 seconds break, pause the video, come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. Now, we're going to incorporate some hook punches. For our white belts, this might be a newer technique for you, but that's okay. Because I believe in you, you're pretty smart kid. guys. So, I want you guys to look at what I'm doing here. When we do a hook punch, we have the same fist. We're hitting with the same two knuckles right here. Okay, right here. We're hitting with those two knuckles. My palm is gonna be turned down when I punch. I don't wanna be punching like this. We're gonna be palm down when we punch. The punch comes across just like this. Notice my elbow follows the hand through space. I don't wanna be like this. I'd be like this, okay? And then we're also gonna make sure we're pivoting on our feet when we do the hook punch. We pivot on the balls of our feet, just like we learned to pivot on the back punch. We pivot on the front hook. We pivot on the back hook. Again, we pivot on the front hook, and we pivot on the back hook, okay? So let's do a couple of those in the air here. We'll do 10 front hook punches. Ready? Go. Kia. Two. Kia. Three. Kia. Four. Kia. Five. Kia. Six. Kia. Seven. Kia. Eight. Kia. Nine. Kia. Ten. Kia. Now we're going to do 10 back hook punches. These will feel a lot easier as long as you remember not to wind up. This is not a Rocky movie, okay? Ready? One. Kia. Two. Kia, three, Kia, four, Kia, five, Kia, 
Six, kia. Seven, kia. Eight, kia. Nine, kia. Ten, kia. Good, let's switch our stances to the other side. Remember, we're not getting lazy in those pivots. A hook punch without a pivot is like throwing a wet noodle at somebody, okay? Ready? One, kia. Two, kia. Three, kia. Four, kia. Five, kia. Six, kia. Seven, kia. Eight, kia. Nine, kia. Ten, kia. Now, ten back hook punches. Ready? One, kia. Two, kia. Three, kia. Four, kia. Five, kia. Six, kia. Seven, kia. Eight, kia. Nine, kia. Ten, kia. All right, good. Whew. I'm sweating. I can almost smell the mango and mango pizza coming right out of my pores. Ooh, I had so many mango and mango pizzas and boardwalk fries and saltwater taffies. And, ah, I love the beach. Love the beach. Anyway, <clears throat> but that's why we're going to be training so hard this week because I got to burn off some of these beach calories. All right, so now when I'm training with my partner and he's giving me a target for the hook punch, we said the, the front punch and back punch, the hands are out front. But when he's giving me a hook punch target, he's going to hold his hand halfway between his nose and my nose. Okay, so right about there. Don't extend too far, halfway between your nose and their nose. So now my drill's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna do front punch, back punch, front hook punch. One, two, front hook. Notice the pivot. He's also watching to make sure my hands are in the right pivot position. I'm gonna do a minute straight there, and a minute straight on this side. Minute straight on both sides, pause the video, come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. Now, we're gonna do one two punch, front hook, back hook. We're gonna put a whole combination together. Orange belts, you'll recognize this as orange belt fighting combination number one. White belts, getting ahead of yourselves. That's okay, I think you can handle it. So we're just gonna go here. One, two, hook, hook. Start slow. Technique before speed and power. Make sure we're pivoting, make sure our hands are going back to our faces. And I want a little more center for me. That's better. How's my hand position? Spectacular. Good. Okay, a minute on this side, now I'm gonna do a minute on the other side. Notice the pivots. Don't get lazy. Pause the video. When you guys are done, we'll do two sets. All right. Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed that part of the training. Now we got another drill for you guys. So as you advance in sparring, you'll learn that you make people miss just by moving out of their range. Okay? You'll learn that you make people miss with a hook punch by blocking. You throw the hook punch and I block it. Boom. But as we get more advanced, we learn a technique called slipping. That doesn't mean falling on my butt. It means Make it a miss. So let's say Joseph throws a front hook punch here and I slip underneath it. Or he throws a back hook punch here and I slip underneath it. The things to take note of here, when I slip, my eyes are up the whole time. I bend my knees, not my waist. So the technique, if the punch is coming at my head this way, I roll my shoulders away, bend my knees, come underneath, and back up on the other side. I roll my head the other way, bend my knees, come up on the other side. Notice we're not doing this. If I can't see the opponent, I can't protect myself. Now the punch is coming this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Punch is coming this way. Roll away, bend the knees up. Roll away, bend the knees and up. <coughs> oh, I think I'm still coughing up sand. Anyway, yeah. swallowed a lot of salt water this week. So now if Joshua were to throw this hook punch here, I, bend, I roll away, bend the knees, come up on the other side. If he throws this hook punch, I roll away. Notice I can see his body there, boom, come up on the other side. Now that's a little advanced for you guys yet. So we have a simple drill to teach you how to do this. You're gonna gr grab any type of stick from home. This could be a, a wiffle ball bat, it could be uh, a, a long umbrella, it could be anything. You just need something long and skinny that you can extend. Stick the dog brought in. From yes, the yes, at least it's not a rock body. Right. Our dog brought a bunny in yesterday. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not even Easter. Okay. Sticks out. Now, I'm going to start here on one side of the target. My eyes are up. 
Now what we're gonna do, my hands would stay up. I'm gonna bend my knees, come underneath the target, come up on the other side. Never looking away from him. I'm staring at him the whole time. I don't wanna go too low, okay? I just wanna slip right underneath, okay? I can feel that on top of my hair. Oh. Okay, keep my eyes up the whole time. Boom. 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 Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start on the left. We're gonna do 20. 20 slips. One, two, three, four, 20. Rest your legs for a minute. They're gonna get tired fast. We're gonna do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, twenty. Okay, whoo! Feeling that in those legs. Now, we're gonna have one thing to this. If I'm that close to somebody and I'm slipping a technique, it means he's trying to hit me. When I come up that close to somebody who's trying to hit me, I'm not gonna stand and smile at him. So I slip him, I'm not gonna stand here while he punches me in the face. So I'm gonna slip that technique and I'm gonna come up firing. So I slip. You gotta keep it at one level, dude. Don't follow me. <laughs> slip, and then I'm gonna come up and fire with my outside hand. Don't hit your partner. Outside hand means the one that's away from what you slipped. You see, this inside arm can't punch. When I slip this way, can't really punch with the inside arm, but I can punch with that hand. One, two, he can count for me. Three, 20. 21, okay? And I'll pause for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do the other side. <coughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 20. Okay, and there you go. So pause, there's your slipping drill for today. Pause the video, get your slips in, come back when you guys are ready. All right, welcome back. All right, guys. So the last drill that we're going to do today, we're going to do, actually before I get into the last drill, I want to give you your mat chat for today. The mat chat today is about structure. Structure. Structure is a rare thing these days. Our world is so screwed up right now. You know, our parents, adult students, you guys don't know what's going on with your work lives. For example, Mrs. Sensei just found out um, that she's not going back to work at her office till January. That's crazy. That's crazy. So she doesn't have the same structure she's used to. She wakes up in the morning a little bit later. She gets going a little bit slower. She meanders to her workspace a little bit slower. And then she's distracted by things in the house all day long, like the dogs, the kids, me. Okay, so it, it's not the same structure. I know for kids, it's a little crazy. Summers, we've got less than two weeks left of summer. Okay, normally we're getting our school supplies, we're getting ready to go back to school full time and get in a regular routine and start our fall sports and we get back to a structure. But now we find out students are limited to part-time training only, hybrid training, online training, okay? They're not getting that structure. Their fall sports pretty much for everybody have been canceled. They don't have that same structure of going to practice Monday, Wednesday, Friday night with a Saturday game. We don't have that structure. But you know where we do have structure? We have structure here at Leading Edge. We've had structure this entire time. Since day one of the shutdown on March 17th, we brought you virtual classes. For you to have something to work on consistently, regularly, something to have a structure with, to continue your martial art journey, to continue your fitness journey, to continue your life skills journey without losing that structure. And then on June 29th, we reopened our doors to hybrid training where you guys can train in person and online, continuing our structure. As we roll in the fall, guys, we need you, you need you to allow leading edge martial arts to be the backbone, the discipline of your structure. Now's not the time to fade away. Now's not the time to drift off. Now's not the time to fall off track. Now's the time to lean on leading edge and allow it to give you that structure that we're lacking in our lives. Okay, today we're gonna to do some shadow boxing. We gotta burn some calories here, guys. We gotta burn some calories and whew, I'm needing to burn some calories. I know you ate a bit, but not as much as you. Okay, 
So the first, we're gonna do four one minute rounds. So we need a timer, guys. We need a timer. We're gonna do four one minute rounds. The first round is gonna be just footwork. Just footwork, no punches, no kicks. And shadow sparring is sparring. We do it in a big mirror here at the school, but at home you might be doing it in a, 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 a dressing mirror. You might be doing it just an imaginary opponent. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Sometimes it's great to set up your cameras and maybe stream it to your TV so you can see what you're doing. Um, whatever you guys choose to do, we've got to use our imagination. I like training at home because you can pump the music up, right? We can't pump the music up here because then we get the copyright infringements and they mute our, our audio and then you can't hear what I'm teaching anyway. So here we go, guys. So from here, we're in a good defensive stance. We're just going to work our footwork. And when we work our footwork, we're going to maintain about a shoulder and a half width apart with our feet. Okay, we're bouncing and moving on the balls of our feet. Just like this, we can switch our stances. If we switch, it's very quick. Boom. Boom. And so forth. Just like this, we're just moving. Boom. Okay, good. So you're gonna do one minute round, just footwork, pause the video, come back when you're done. Okay, welcome back. Round two, we're gonna do just our punching. Just our punching. Now we have four punches that we can train up. Front punches, back punches, front and back hook punches. You can throw these punches in any order and you can work your footwork at the same time. So again, this is round two, just punching. Ready? I'm gonna throw a double jab in here. It's also known as a double front punch. Keep working at footwork. There you have it, four one minute rounds, or I'm sorry, one one minute round, just hands and footwork. Okay, next round. We have two rounds that are gonna be exactly the same. Round three and round four. You're gonna work in your kicks. What kicks do we know at this level? Well, our white belts know the front kicks, back leg front kicks, and then they know the side kicks. Yellow belts, you have your round kicks, and orange belts, you have your spin side kicks. So we're gonna work. Our footwork in with our punches. Ready? Begin. Just like that. You're gonna do four, I'm sorry, I keep signing my numbers wrong. Two. Two one minute rounds, sparring, punches, kicks, and footwork. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. All right guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are sweating. I know I am, I can smell the mango and mango pizza coming right out of my pores. Hope you enjoyed today's class. Guys, we're gonna build on these drills every day this week. So be ready to work. Come ready to train. Keep up the good work. Thanks for being Lima Strong. We'll see you online. We'll see you on the mat. Oops.